everybody, my name is Adam. Today I'm just going to be showing you a really quick and simple step on how to take pre-existing uh, face data and import that into ACDC. So in this folder, we have a bunch of our images that have embedded face data. Uh, what I mean by that is, in a previous version of the software, I've gone in and I've added or rather embedded face data on these images. To embed face data, you'd simply go into view mode and you'd add a face just like you would normally. And then uh, once you've added that face to your file, there'll be a pending metadata uh, icon that will appear on the bottom left hand corner. I'd simply right click that image. I'd go down to metadata and I would embed metadata. I can also do that by just clicking all of the images in our repertoire here and going to metadata, embed metadata. So that's been done in a previous version. And now what I want to do is I essentially want to uh, add those faces to my database. But I don't really want to go through one by one and rename all my files. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that pre-existing information and I'm going to go through the process of cataloging that information. So one thing I want to note before we begin is if I navigate to tools and I navigate to manage people, you're going to notice that under our people manager, we have no names here. Uh, this is important because after we're done this process of cataloging these files, all of these people's names will appear. Okay, so we have no current face information, no nobody's faces uh, in our uh, face manager. So what I'm gonna do is to catalog these files, I'm going to navigate to tools once again, and this time we're gonna to go to database and catalog files. Under the catalog file section, you're probably gonna notice pictures and libraries. We're just going to unclick this. So right now we have it unclicked. Um, if your pictures, uh, if you wanna search a, a much broader or vaster library of images, maybe you'd want this clicked. But for the purpose of uh, our folder here, I'm going to just navigate to it. Uh, you'll notice that I already have that folder navigated to it. So if you have a, um, a family folder or something that you'd like to add to essentially scan in this case, you just go and through the process of finding that folder. Uh, so we found our folder and we're just going to make sure that a couple items are clicked. So under the import from catalog files, uh, we're gonna, we don't necessarily need to import any EXIF or IPTC metadata, but I'm just going to click it anyway because it doesn't matter. Uh, and then the last one that we really want is just we want to make sure that this face data uh, box is in fact clicked. And that will make sure that we go through these images and we uh, find any of that embedded face data. The other thing we're going to note is that I'm just going to scan for ACDC face metadata uh, in this specific instance here. Uh, with those three items clicked and uh, with the toggle on for ACDC face data, I'm going to click start and it's going to go through the process of quickly cataloging all of the images that are in this folder here that contain face data. After this, what we'll do is we'll navigate to our face folder here or rather our uh, manage people section. And by clicking on manage people, you'll notice that all of these people's names have been added to our repertoire. Uh, so that's great. That's intended and what we wanted. Okay, we can see that that cataloging was successful. Uh, let's just verify that by navigating to our file here. So if we navigate to our file, we can see that all these faces have been added. We'll just navigate through and see that Faces have been added according to who had face data embedded. The other thing we can do is we can also go to the tools section and under database catalog files, we can catalog that same folder uh, or a new folder if we wanted to, but we can toggle switch from ACDC face data to that of Lightroom or Picasa face data. So if you've saved or rather embedded uh, face data in a, a Lightroom or Pica a Picasa, you've added that information in a different uh, uh, software, we can go through and we can check 
uh, those images and add those names to our people manager based on uh, the information that you've provided in Lightroom or Picasa. And then run that same operation to add those names to your repertoire. And that's it. That's really all there is to know. It's not super complicated. Uh, if you have any questions at all, please drop me a comment uh, in the comment section below. And uh, a subscribe is always appreciated. Take care.